It seems that Tesla started putting in code to detect people who are using devices to yep. cheat the system no, in no understanding weights, no water bottles. You yeah, know. so they're starting to detect that you're using your weights. They're starting to detect that you're using your water bottles, your things to try to cheat the system that tries to get you to grab the wheel. We'll say the safety almost an interlock, but not really feature. <laughs> um, if they uh, if they catch you using one, they will uh, give you a strike, um, and then you can get kicked out. How do you that. think they're doing it? Um, like. It, is it uh, that there's a constant torque? I would say constant have a stationary torque. mass, or are they, the using, are they using the camera to see? Okay, so that's that's. I'm I'm wondering if if it's camera related because uh, I've had a couple I have a couple long trips uh, recently, and I did get get dinged a couple times. And oh I, yeah, so speaking of being kicked out of the beta, no, sorry, <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I, 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 go I, I was trying to keep him out of trouble. I, I don't want to go through all trouble. of that, but uh, <laughs> but uh, what I noticed was that I um, I think I was on a phone call, and uh, you know, I I, I kind of use my hands when I talk, <laughs> even though nobody's <laughs> watching. Uh, and you know, the thing only wants you to touch the wheel every now and then. And what I had found that I felt like the car is giving you less frequent, uh, bugging you less frequently with the beta. And I think because it can tell you're looking forward. I'll, I'll agree with that. So it's, it's not bugging you as often. So it's not bugging you as often. But anyway, so I'm on a call and, uh, and I'm kind of talking with my hands. And then it wasn't even a warning. It was just like, dude, dude, you know, autopilot. Uh, disabled Disengage. for the rest of the ride and it's like uh really <laughs> <Already>? <laughs> so that that seemed a bit that seemed a bit harsh uh but i seem to think it's it's the cameras and yeah i've had a lot of long drives recently and uh yeah I, I i tripped number five apparently i was hoping that it was you know within the last month because within the app you know i only had like whatever one but it, it's kind of you know, on a long trip it's kind of easy to to get a, a ding because you're just sitting there with your hand on the steering wheel and i don't know sometimes it, it it's it it alerts even though your hands on the steering wheel i did try just as an experiment like okay what happens if i block the camera and uh and it won't let you even engage uh, right autopilot. yeah they, they oh, disabled really? that a few Ooh. a few months ago you can't use fsd beta at all um <laughs> if you block the camera so yeah i mean i'm sure the camera is certainly a factor and there's different ways they could do it but just be aware folks if you try to defeat the system and they detect you they will kick you out potentially um and it, it's kind of sad to say it's a wide release but it's still a beta so they can still revoke your access still so keep beta. that in mind as well if you pay the two hundred dollars or the $15,000 and you get into the beta and then you get, you violate their thing too many times. I think it's five strikes, then boom, you're kicked out. Um, now there is a rumor going that once version 11 comes out, which maybe we'll get by the end of this year, um, version 11 actually removes the permanent uh, uh, strike system. So where basically it'll probably just say, normally when you, when you violate it and you have a fourth disengagement, it just says, Hey, you can't use it for the rest of this trip, which really means pull over to the side of the road, stop, park, Put it in park. Then you can, you know, then go out of park again and you can turn it back on. So that at least will be fair. I think that's a fair thing to do is, is like, okay, you can't use it for this trip because you haven't been safe. But to say, oh no, you paid fifteen thousand dollars and now you can't use the beta at all for the next X months because we've decided, you know, you tripped it. That's uh, you know, that's a bit unfortunate but uh anyway uh so hopefully it goes away soon but until then let's just be aware that that's a thing 